and welcome to a new episode of The Worst Takes Ever. Now, if you've watched any of the episodes in this series, you might realize that I don't usually talk right now. I usually just hop straight into the video and kind of let it play. But this video is a lot more serious than um, the other episodes of this series. So if you're new here, then just note that the tone of the other episodes of this series are a lot more lighthearted, mostly, and about a lot less serious topics, but speaking about topics, you can recommend one for me to talk about in the description. Regardless, I thought I'd preface this with this one's a little different in tone from the others, and rather than going in and just kind of making fun of it as I go along, I'm actually attempting to deconstruct this video point by point. Okay, so this video starts out by making a bunch of, like, like, should women have to endure the whole thing of biological, quote-unquote, males being when in a women's changing room or in a place that may majority serves women or only women, should they have to deal with this? And it's blatant, like, transphobia, and not only this, the science doesn't back up their claims at all, mainly because I know this is surprising to most people who are on the trans people are just, like, trans women are just male, but surprise, surprise, science has surpassed since the 80s, and we do have actual things that allow our biology to legitimately change quite a bit to the point where you are basically a woman and or basically a woman or basically a man you're you're that gender like biologically because science has become so far advanced and to just say that this isn't really a thing and to not acknowledge it at all is just blatantly cherry picking your points and not really acknowledging how science works and to be very brief about this five minute video it's basically about how the equality act basically poses a threat to sports uh, religion, and other such things. And it seems like they're seeming, they're fear-mongering over nothing. And the examples that they pose of this threatens businesses is kind of a nothing-burger argument, especially since they, from what I understand at least, essentially denied service to people because of their sexuality, which, if you don't know, is against the law, and you're not allowed to do that. And something along the lines of that, it's a little different or more complicated, but it's essentially that, and they try to portray it as it's evil to do, to say hey, you shouldn't be doing that. And it's evil that um, people, trans women, are allowed to participate in sports and, real, and, you know, blatant transphobia isn't allowed to happen religiously or something like that. It's they really struggle on emphasizing their point with the religious one. But ultimately, they're trying to make something out of uh, such a, out of a good thing. They're trying to make a bad thing out of a good thing, and it's blatantly just not good, and ultimately makes me question why people sometimes open their mouths. Um... Again, this was a lot more serious than other episodes. Um, next episode will probably be um, something a lot less serious because I don't really want to 
do something like this often, so recommend less serious topics like people just having like slightly bad opinions that are make fun of worthy and not like very serious. But this, it's essentially blatant transphobia and trying to say no, trans people don't deserve rights, and it's just not a a good thing. So, yeah, that's basically all for this video. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, feel free to support me on Patreon. These videos take some time to make, and it would mean a lot to me if you donated to my Patreon. Um, it funds me because I don't really get money off of ads on my main channel. <sighs> Yeah, that's basically all. Thanks for watching.